So this one, what I did here is after I worked the two rounds for the heart, when I did the third round, I inserted the hook underneath both the front and back loop to work around the heart. And then this one, I worked in the back loops only when I worked the third round. And for this one, I worked in the back horizontal bar when I worked the third round for this one. So you can see this one here, you can see the heart shape, but it's not quite as defined as this one or this one. This one here, where I work into both the front and back loop, you can see the heart shape starts to lose its shape a little bit. It's a little bit more rounded at the point of the heart. This is where I work in the back loops to work the third round, and the heart shape is more defined than this one. But this one, it's a little bit more advanced because you have to work in the horizontal back bars. But once you learn how to find the horizontal back bars, it actually is worth it because you can see that this heart shape is much more defined than this one where I work in the back loops or this one where I work underneath both loops. So I just wanted to show you how where you insert your hook to work this third round can make a difference on the results that you'll get when you finish your granny square.